a clown pleasing the crowds. Perhaps less pleasant behind closed doors. Making up quotes, lying to your party leader, wanting to be part of uh, someone being physically assaulted. You're a nasty piece of work, aren't you? On the stage, an international diplomat with a personal flourish, but often fluffing lines. A place that was, I trying to think what happened in the Second World War. What do we do in the Second World War? It was neutral, wasn't it? The Azores, what do we do in the Azores? And now, a statesman? A keen student of Winston Churchill, Boris Johnson believes his moment of destiny is nearing. I think it's a very tough job being Prime Minister. Very tough job. I mean, obviously, if the, the ball came loose from the back of a scrum, um, which it won't, might, or, or of course it'd be, it'd be a great, great thing to have a crack at. Now the ball is firmly in his hands as Boris Johnson launches his campaign tomorrow as the front runner. He has an estimated 68 supporters, 37 short of the target of 105 MPs needed to secure a place in the final two. Boris Johnson is joking in private that his campaign is going worryingly well. The stars are currently aligning in his favour thanks to two factors. Conservative MPs from across the party believe he is best placed to take on Nigel Farage. And Brexiteers are delighted with his pledge to leave the EU at the end of October, deal or no deal. I looked him in the eye, I've known him 20 years, and said, Boris, if you become Prime Minister, do you give me your word we live on the 31st of October, come hell or high water? And he said, look, Mark, we've got to leave, otherwise the Tory party is finished. We're leaving. That swung it for me. From the other side of the party, an unlikely figure has signed up. I've decided in these unprecedented circumstances to back the one person who I think has the charisma and the energy to get us through not just these months of Brexit, but also the years ahead, and that is Boris Johnson. A historian of the Tory party believes there's one reason above all to explain Boris Johnson's current lead. Nigel Farage is the leading personality in this leadership contest and he's not a member of the Conservative Party. He once was many decades ago, but he is absolutely dominating it. And his success in the European elections is reverberating through the corridors over there. And they're really thinking, what is the antidote to that? Who is the big personality who can take on both Farage and Jeremy Corbyn? And at the moment, it seems that B Boris Johnson is the answer to that question. Planning on keeping your head down again today, sir. The Boris Johnson team are so worried that he could trip up, they've been keeping him away from the cameras. A fellow Etonian has been stealing the limelight. I've been to most of the Tory leadership launches, and I think it's fair to say that none of your rivals has put on a show quite like this. Yeah. Yeah. But isn't the reality that when your fellow Etonian and Balliol graduate, you know his name, Boris Johnson, that when Boris Johnson steps up, stands up tomorrow, all of this will be swept aside. Nonsense. Nonsense. I don't want to make this too personal, but do you really feel that this is the person that you want engaging with the detail of the future of your health and education system? Is this the person that you want writing the instructions to the nuclear submarines? Is this the man that you want embodying your nation on the world stage and guiding you through the most difficult choice that Britain has faced for 50 years, I trust the Conservative members to arrive at the correct answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A political rock star with bite in the making. Boris Johnson will seek to wrest back that crown tomorrow. <laughs>